What's up, YouTube? This is your boy DJ Hypnotic once again. And today I'm going to show all my DJs how you can make a mix CD um, by cutting the tracks up. Meaning, you have a, you know, you make a mix on your, on, when you record a mix, and all of a sudden, when after you record your mix, is that one long file. So I'm going to show you how quite easy it is to cut those tracks up to make them different tracks so you can put them on CD so you can give them out to your friends or do whatever you want to do with them you know when you're in the club or whatever alright so first thing we're going to do is we have a program it's a program for Mac users and PC users it's called Audacity right so you go to google.com and you type in Audacity and it should automatically pop up it's the first one that you see in the Google thing, in the Google search, click on that, and you should download the latest version, um, which is 2.0.3. It's also available on PCs as well. So, pretty much the PCs and, and the Macs are the same features and everything, so it's nothing different. I'm using a Mac right now, so we're gonna go with Mac. I happen to already download the program already, so I don't have to go through the download process. But um, here is the uh, link that you can go uh, to get the actual uh, program it's audacity.soundforge.net all right I'm gonna put it in the description at the end of, um, in the video all right so after we download the uh, audacity program and also by the way it's free so you gotta worry about paying anything after you um, download the audacity program what you're gonna do is you're gonna click audacity you're gonna go to file you're gonna new right so you're gonna, this is pretty much the main board of the Audacity uh, program. Uh, pretty everything looks pretty laid out, pretty nice. It has a lot of other features, but we're not gonna get into the other features. We're just gonna focus on doing the cutting the tracks up for the mixtape. So you go to find it wherever your file is at for your mixtape. We're gonna use my mixtape that I have available right now, um, State of Emergency Part Four. So we're gonna click it. You're gonna drag it to the uh, main uh, work board. Here. Okay, there you go. If it's a big file, it might take a little bit long, but um, it's okay. <laughs> so, this uh, mix is actually about 75 minutes, and depending on how fast your computer is, it can take up to 30 seconds, it can take up to 45 seconds. It, it, can, it can take a pretty, you know, length of time. So, I'm going to stop the video. And uh, when I return, it's going to be up. All right, and uh, we're back with the, um, the program actually finished uh, loading and everything like that. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the file. As you can see, it's a very long file. And here is the first step you do to make your actual, you know, cut the tracks up. Now, number one, the first thing you got to do is always click to the beginning of the track. That's where you're going. That's where your track one is going to be. So what you're going to do is you're going to go all the way up to change tracks, add label selection. The shortcut for that is if you're on a Mac, Command B. If you're on a PC, it'd probably be Control B. Click that. And it's going to give you this little thing right here at the bottom, and you're going to name it. I was going to name it. Uh, Hypno one, okay, there. So that's the first track. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go along um, your WAV file. Um, if you're gonna like, you know, zoom in to get exactly where you actually want your, you know, next track to start at, and you're gonna get tedious. But we're not gonna get real tedious with it because this is a tutorial. So I'm gonna make about five tracks. I'm gonna put one here. Use a shortcut, or you can go to, you know, once again go to tracks. Command B, name it, hit no two, enter. And then you're gonna keep on going, keep on going. And let's put one here. I'm about Command B or Control B on PC. Hit no three. Anyway, let's do two more. So uh, we have like five tracks cut. 
Mm. But like you know, like I said earlier, in general, you're gonna want to get real tedious into making your um tracks. You know, just in case you know you want to get them precise when you actually make your mix. Um, you're making your mixtape or your mix CD. G about the people. And we're gonna do one more. Let's see this go all the way uh, to the almost to the end. There, Command B, Hypno 5. So, if we zoom out, you can see all our cut tracks selected. One, two, three, four, and five. All right? So, after we got all those uh, tracks selected, we're going to go to File. We're going to go Export Multiple. On that. And it's going to give you the options, a couple of options here. It's going to give you these options of um, how do you want to save your uh, your files. Highly recommended people, you want to use a WAV file. The reason I say you need to use a WAV file because WAV files are looseless, they're not compressed. And if you want to do a CD, you want to have the highest quality possible um, when you, you know, when you make your CD. If you do an MP3, it loses, it's compressed, and it loses its uh, uh, sound quality. So always try to use WAV file. All right? Um, you can either choose where you want your actual, you know, file to go. Um, I was making a new file. Uh, let's go to desktop. I mean, new folder, sorry. And let's name it uh, State Emergency Mix. So we're gonna name and create a new folder. So we can we put this all the stuff is that. So we're gonna choose that one. Now have another options here. Labels, um, split base files based on labels. So um, this is what pretty much what it's saying is you're splitting the files based on the labels that we created here. Okay. Name files. You could also um, using label track name. We already named them. So we're going to select this option. This option here, numbering after the file name prefix, is say you didn't name your files. Say you just cut them up. You can actually, you know, choose your name that you want it to coincide with. So if I want, if I didn't name my files, and it'll, you know, the program will say, okay, it'll put state of emergency four, one, four, two, and so on. If you understand what I'm saying. But since we already named our files here at the bottom, our tracks, we're going to go with using label track name. So we're going to click export. And here's going to give you the option to uh, edit your metadata. Pretty much what metadata is, um, gives you all the information on each track or each file that you um, have for each song, pretty much. So you can just name them, but we're not going to do all that stuff. You're going to click them real quickly. And they're gonna do that for each individual track. Okay. Um, after you finish that, it's gonna um, export all the files to the folder that we selected. Depending on how big your file is, again, it might take a little while. Okay. So pretty much what it's doing is is uh, analyzing and exporting all the files that we selected here. And cutting them up individually. So um, after this is done, we're gonna come right back, and um, I'm gonna show you uh, what's the next steps. Okay, now after all the files have finished exporting and finished processing, you're gonna see the screen here it says successfully exported the following five files, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We'll click OK, and we're pretty much done with the. Uh, cutting process for the file. So what we're going to do is you're going to uh, just minimize that. And now you're ready to go to your burning program, whether it be Windows Media Player, uh, iTunes, Nero Burner, whatever. Um, I'm going to use, which is the easiest one to use, I think, is iTunes. iTunes is available for PC as well. So we're going to click on iTunes. And in order to you know make a CD with um, iTunes, you gotta make a playlist. 
So let me make a playlist, go to File, New, Playlist. I'm going to name it State Mix 4. Okay. Name it State Mix 4. Done there. So what we're going to do, add. So let's go to where wherever the songs are that we annotated earlier from the Audacity program. And here are the tracks that we did. That we, that we cut up. This is in a file on a desktop that I made. Highlight all of them. And just drag them to the side. There you go. Drag them there. Now see all these, uh, these are all the cut tracks files. You're going to file. Burn playlist to disk. And they'll give you the option here. Um, preferred speed is recommended if you're in a hurry trying to get like a lot of um, CDs out. Maximum is cool depending on how fast your computer is or how good your CD burner is. I'll recommend you go at a slow rate if you're not burning that many CDs. That way you get a good burn. There will be no skips or you know misunderstandings when you make your mix um, CD. Okay. And then you go to 8x and you know do all the other options here. Now, audio CD gap between songs. This is if you want gaps in your songs, whether after the next track is done, it will be like you know, depending on how many seconds you select one, two, three, four, five, um, it'll be a break in the songs. Since we're making a mixed CD, we don't want no gaps, so it's going to be a seamless uh CD with no gaps in between based on the, uh, the, the, the tracks that you currently cut up in your file, okay. Um, it give you also give you the option or data CD or DVD. So if you want to make an MP3 CD, it's fine. If you make a data CD, it's fine. But um, pretty much that's about it. And that's how you make um, your mix CD, cut the tracks up, and everything like that. All right. So this is uh, DJ Hypnotic. Make sure you like and subscribe my, to my channel. Hit up my website www.djhypnotic.net. Um, follow me on that Twitter. Um, DefDJHypnotic78. All right. So uh, good luck.